The future of the Star Wars franchise seems to be quite expansive, not just with their books, novels, and comics, but also their live-action TV series, their animated TV shows, and let's not forget about the new Star Wars trilogy, also known as the fourth Star Wars trilogy by Disney and Lucasfilm. This is Mike Zero. make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, the one thing about Disney Star Wars is that we do know that as of right now, they are trying their absolute best, Disney of course, to really reunite the fans around the world. For those that were very much unsatisfied with the sequel trilogy movies, of course we're talking about The Force Awakens, The Rise of Skywalker, The Last Jedi, etc. A lot of fans had issues with these movies, especially The Last Jedi, myself included. Now, if you guys have been following me for quite some time, you will know that The Last Jedi, at least in my book, is, you know, a very uh, poorly written Star Wars film, to say the least, and when we look at The Rise of Skywalker, you know, I feel like it's on and off of that as well. So, when we look at everything related to Disney and Lucasfilm and what they've been trying to do with The Rise of Skywalker, I really thought it was like a movie where you like some scenes and you hate some scenes here and there. But looking ahead to the future here, the new Star Wars universe, what's really exciting about all of this is, of course, George Lucas and his involvement in, of course, this new expanded universe that's going to really include movies, TV shows, books, novels, comics, you name it, all of which we will be covering over here. Now, what's really intriguing about all of this is that, of course, now that both Disney and Lucasfilm are finished with The Rise of Skywalker, they are moving on to their new Star Wars universe, as well as their new Star Wars trilogy of films. Where it's noted that currently both Disney and Lucasfilm are developing multiple ways in order to reunite the fans around the world. It's noted that currently the new Disney CEO, Bob Chapek, has been making many changes over at Lucasfilm in order to ensure the Star Wars brand will become as successful as it can be throughout this entire decade. Now, it's noted that currently Disney has multiple projects in the works, however, it's explained that Bob Chapek has allowed creator George Lucas to take over the new Star Wars universe and that George Lucas is set to make many retcons of The Last Jedi alongside Dave Filoni. Now, it's further explained that George is set to overwrite many of Ryan Johnson's ideas for his planned new Star Wars trilogy as well, and that George Lucas is actually said to have a major role in having creative choices over how the new universe will be laid out for the Star Wars fans around the world. Not just that, but also George Lucas recently had the authority to put an end to a project that was being developed between Ryan Johnson and Kathleen Kennedy that was intended to be released for Disney Plus in the coming years, an animated series that was going to retell the entire prequels and originals. This was also going to be written by Ryan Johnson to some extent, and that he was in the talks closely with Kathleen Kennedy about being a co-writer for this particular series. However, George Lucas recently put an end to this idea as Bob Chase Peck allowed George to not approve this concept for the new Star Wars universe as it would have changed Star Wars history as the fans know the franchise very well. So that's the thing about Disney Star Wars is that you can already see now that what they were trying to do when Ryan Johnson was still on board and working very close with Kathleen Kennedy is that Kennedy and Johnson wanted to retell the events of the originals and the prequels through this animated series for Disney+. Plus. Thankfully, George Lucas put a complete stop to this, thankfully because of also Bob Chapek allowing George to really come on board for this new Star Wars universe, that's in this new expanded universe, I must add, that is going to be far larger than the old one that we got back in the 1990s and the early 2000s. The thing that really does interest me the most about this is the fact that George is also going to be responsible for working very closely with Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni for many of the retcons of The Last Jedi, and that George is going to be the person who will approve those ideas. So George is really the major player here of approving concepts now for the new Star Wars universe as long as he's alive, essentially. And I think that's a really good, you know, uh, step in the right direction. I really do believe that. Because if you look at the expanded universe, sure, there were some crazy things embedded in there, I'm not going to deny that, but there were a lot of concepts in the EU, I'm talking about the old EU, where uh, a lot of stories were just very well written. I mean, let's not forget about Heir to the Empire, right? Or Shadows of the Empire, or all those different stories, right? Or Dark Empire. All these different stories are just gold. And that just tells us, you know, how George Lucas at the time really knew what worked and what didn't. And I think that's one of the main reasons as to why 
the sequel trilogy movies just feel a little off is because George did not have the ability to approve specific concepts. Some of you out there may disagree with me and say the sequel trilogy is, you know, pretty much all fine, but in my opinion, it's got a lot of flaws. Uh, that's not to say that The Force Awakens is an absolute train wreck of a film. I don't believe it is, but it is a movie that has a lot of flaws because of how much it copied from A New Hope. And that movie in and on itself was still entertaining to me because it really left open the doors, left open the possibilities of what we would have really expected to see in The Last Jedi or The Rise of Skywalker at the time, right? So anyways guys, drop a comment below, let me know think about all this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.